Hello, everybody. My name is Mark, and today my topic that I'm going to talk about is impact of AI on society. I, I have a duty from the Class 5B to show you the impact of AI on this topic. So before I deep dive into detail, I want you to look at this graph. As you can see, these are a bunch of information that scientists predict it's going to happen in the future. $407 billion AI market size by 2027, and a lot of business or marketer using AI as their advantage in their company to improve their value. We also have 400 million workers could be replaced by AI, but AI will also create 97 million jobs in the future. Here is my table content. So first we have introduction, positive, positive impact on healthcare, positive impact on productivity, and impact of AI on digital marketing. We also have disadvantage of AI, conclusion, and solution. Here's my introduction. AI definition. So in short, AI, AI or artificial intelligence is made by humans and it is used by humans to train themselves and slowly getting more advanced to remember the, the correct pattern of using the data. How does it learn the information? AI learns by using the data it learns, combine it into a large cube of, cube of data and learning it all directly instead of one by one to get the fastest processing algorithm. How can AI process the information? AI uses a live machine, which means that AI are pretty much human's brain in the machines that can remember and store data better than any other humans in the world. We also have four types of data. AI, reactive, limited memory, theory of mind, and self-aware. Here's my AI healthcare. Medical imaging and diagnose. So basically, first of all, when you are getting sick or something, doctor back then wouldn't know, wouldn't know because if the if the, the the sickness is so minor, they wouldn't even care about it. But AI could could know what disease they are getting and detection it and accurate diagnose, which leads to personalized machine medicine. AI develop analyze patient data, which means they could. They could clearly know which one, which medicine is for them. So basically, if, if your blood pressure is high at that time or your body temperature is low or high, they will know exactly what, what, what you need and what's the routine you need to take to, to recover, which leads to another one, drug discovery and development. After that, AI will choose the best medicine for you, which means well, simply, AI can get the medicine from the doctor and gave it to you with the routine, as I said, to, to give you a better, a better feelings about it. Robot-assist surgery. AI power robot that, to, that exists to assist surgery, which means that with, with AI, AI power robot, it could, do, it, it could do really hard tasks that many, many doctors consider be really hard and the chance of being survived after it is really low. But with AI training over time, the accuracy of it could, could simply be enough to fix it. Next. AI impact on productivity. AI has a profound impact on productivity, especially industrial automation. Back then, there's, there's almost nothing is automation. Simply, humans have to do it all, and since humans have a limit, they basically need to rest or have to eat. With AI, there are no limitations, and they could do automation tasks repetitively with a really quick and really accurate accuracy. AI power robot can perform repetitive tasks with high accuracy. Why? Because people have, have invested in high data training and so that they could make sure that the AI could work well and, could work well and remember all their data. Now, before that I go next, I want you, you to look at this graph. So this is artificial intelligence AI robot market size from 2023 to 2032. Two years ago, it is $12 billion. It is when the rise of AI start, started to rise. Right now, fast forward to 2024, we have $17.58 billion. That's a $5 billion increase. But what happened if it's like a few years from now, 2032, 83.78 billion dollars, close to 100 billions, which show how they could predict that 
AI is going to be so famous and the market size and the people that use them are going to be so much. How AI improved digital marketing? It gained customer insight. How does it do that? It, it gathered information. It, instead of just taking information from humans, it also knows how to take information from our side. And basically, it could use those um, customer behavior to gain their, to gain their opinion at, at a fast pace. Improve customer engagement. Using AI to track each campaign will provide it with a, with a better experience to the, to the user because AI know what they're liking, which means which mean they know how to upgrade their products or doing something or making ads that fits their, them the most. Improve user experience. With AI, you could provide the right audience with the right advertisements. So for example, if they don't like this advertisement, and only some people like it, we can divide it into a bunch of different advertisements to get the best pace ever. Increase productivity. Using AI, we can easily automate several repetitive tasks, as I said before. Disadvantage of AI. Malfunction, blackout, outage, errors, or mistake. So AI have a high accuracy, right? I said it's high, it's not really 100% true that AI could not get any problems. And so trusting on AI blindly without checking on them could be a big problem, and if not fixed early, it could be a bad consequences. Lack creativity. AI lack human institution creativity. Why? Simply, AI have no emotion, which means if you want to write a message to your mom, you cannot, write, you cannot let AI write it because AI don't know what is your feeling right now. Job displacement. AI automation may lead to job losses in certain industry, which could lead to poverty in some certain countries. And according to CO.AI, AI could potentially replace around 800 million jobs worldwide by 2013. Security risk. I want you to read this. So Equifax is a company, right? So they, they're using AI to, to protect their the agency, but then they suffer a major data breach in 2017, which means that their data are getting leaked to 147 million individuals. Why has this happened? Because they have not checking on AI much, which is, as, as I said before, trusting on AI without human oversight could lead to bad consequences. Here's my conclusion. So basically, in healthcare, we have personalized machine, robot assist surgery, drug discovery, and medical imaging and diagnose. Productivity, we have industrial automation, AI power robot, and that's it. Digital marketing, customer insight, customer engagement, increased productivity, and it could also improve user experience. With that, one coin have two sides, right? We have drawbacks, security risks, shop assignments, mistakes, and lack of creativity. Here's my solution. For for data privacy and protection, we need to train the, ro the AI even more because with, with intensive training data, they could improve their, their security and prevent data leak, like the company I said before. Skill development and retraining. Encourage ongoing education and training program to actually equip workers with new skills that are, that are demanded that evolving jobs market, which means that if AI are taking over the other market, we could still employ jobs that could help, that, that could use human instead of AI and others, which could still keep jobs for many people. Robust data collection and preparation. Ensure that training, your training is diverse. You cannot just start, just have a AI learning for like 15 minutes and put it in. It will not know what you're, you're doing. Because even if it's just a simple task, it needs to learn from other things and know how to fix its mistake. Hybrid human AI collaboration. With AI making humans losing their own creativity, we need a hybrid human AI collaboration. Why? Because, well, with AI, it helps you generate the word or the spelling you need. And with humans, you could provide the feeling you are feeling about them. Thank you for listening.